yo what is up guys jerry zero bringing you a freaking pokemon adventures of red blue and green volume one volume two seven yep so uh this is a book re uh manga review of the manga review of what i think about it and what exactly how I feel about it. Overall, this 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 is not bad. This is not bad. Uh, if you do get to read this, there is uh, I mean you can get this off uh Amazon or Barnes and Noble. And if you have like an account with Barnes and Noble and you get get their like coupons or whatever, you can get these for cheaper pricing than what you get off of Amazon. I still get mine off of Amazon because it just it's right there, and I already have it like in my uh, wish list, so that's why I usually do do that. Um, but again, if you have Barnes and Noble, remember if you have the account to it, you can always use the coupon to get these type of books cheaper. If you want to buy manga, you can always go to Barnes and Noble, and they definitely do have some of these mangas. You could go ahead and get them. And I already looked it up, so there are like the whole set here and other sets that I'm going to eventually be getting as well during the box opening, unboxing. But overall, yeah, so definitely check some of these out because they are hilarious and it makes you think about the aspects of one is there any connection with the anime series or because I know it's not no connection with the uh, video game series but overall it just makes you wonder about how this manga is presenting itself if it has any connection with the anime series I know they there's no connection to it but it makes you feel like there's a theory about certain characters that might have a connection in this series to certain characters. So basically like like uh, Ash. If you think about Ash and how he acts and how his mom said that he his father was kind of you you know, you're kind of like your father and how um, how he does things and the adventures of Pokemon red blue and green and yellow red has that ash out outside the box thinking and he he uses different types against types that you know he shouldn't use but you know unlike ash compared to red he actually wins his battles over and over and over again you know there probably be a situation he might lose he might lose but after reading this particular manga, it made Red, even though he thinks outside the box, he still wins his matches. Now, again, this this whole particular series makes it seem like, oh, Red could be his father. But in that version in the anime series, even though this has nothing, there's no connection to it, it just makes it seem like there's probably a character red in his series and that's the father hypothetically probably a theory and he just has that personality like this in the manga and that's what I feel like oh that's that's the that's the thing that's that could be a thing um but someone should check that out and read for themselves if that's if they'd be like, oh, you know, he's probably right. There's probably a version of Red in the anime series that is the father of Ash and has that exact same personality as Ash. Thinking outside the box. Uh, and is actually good at thinking outside the box when it comes to Pokemon. So, uh, overall, again, like I said, this book 
these books are very good. I like. I also like the fact of on volume four. Once you get to reading it and getting to volume four, you're gonna notice Blue and his scyther are gonna be dabbing, and I'm not gonna dab right here on the on, the, on this video. But you know, there was this one scene in there that they started dabbing, and I guess it was just like one of those moments where, huh, that's funny, you know. Because the whole point of dabbing is supposed to end of, of a meme or a thing on, you know, because it's 2018. No one dabs. It's supposed to it's supposed to die off. And it's, it's, it's like the same thing with the whole Knuckles thing. The whole Uganda Knuckles. It's, it's supposed to end. But regardless of that, this manga series is amazing. Uh... I know a lot of people said like, uh, this is like one of those things where it's, it's way too mature for kids. No, it's not too mature for kids. I mean, there's like a couple of things that comprised of, there's a little bit of Pokemon getting chopped in half or something like that. It's not too much. I would say it's about a get. For kids to read this, I would say they have to be at least 13 to read this. Because, you know, it's one of those things where it's not too bad. It's not, like, bloody violent to it. It just... If you're going to be reading this particular manga or the sequels to this particular volume 1 through 7... Uh... Just letting you know ahead of time that your kid has to be at least 13 because, again, not all the way through the manga is like that where they, you know, kill a Pokemon or chop a Pokemon in half or whatever. It's not going to be like that doing probably like at least two volumes of it. And then once they get to a certain volume, it's going to be like, oh, okay. It's terrible. It's terrible. You know? But it's, again, like I said, it's not too terrible, but it's still readable. You can still read it and no get over exaggerated. Like, oh, I can't, can't read this. No, no, no. It's, not, it's, it's a pretty solid good manga series where it's not too overrated for your kid to read. Again, it's a good manga. Highly recommend it. Again, cheaper on Barnes & Noble. I get mine on Amazon, but it's cheaper on Barnes & Noble. If you have account to Barnes & Noble and you can get the coupon, you can always lower the price, unlike Amazon. Even though Amazon has the same thing, if you don't have Amazon like that, where you have like coupons, you get this decrease the pricing of it, then go to Barnes & Noble. Because at least Barnes & Noble have discount codes where they could just keep it down the price over than that it's it's a good manga I can't wait to start reading golden silver and crystal manga and tell you guys what I think about that one and seeing how red makes his appearance in that golden silver and crystal but if you guys enjoy my uh, movie I mean that well, was about the same movie reveal but my uh, Pokemon Adventures Volume 1 through 7 review. Uh, I would say this is a good 5 out of 5. I wouldn't say a 5 out of 5. I was more, it's more like not a 5 out of 5. It's more a 5 and a half. I would say it's about a 5 and a half. You know? I will give it a 5 out of 5 and a half stars for this thing because, again, it's hilarious. I just feel like the whole dabbing thing in a Pokemon type of series kind of cringed me a little bit. I don't know. It kind of cringed me a little bit. I want to give it a full 5 out of 5 because yellow. It was because of yellow. This is the reason why I want to give it a 5 out of 5. Even though it's my, everybody probably knows this or haven't read the manga series or probably searched it on Serbi. Is... Yellow is a girl 
for most people who didn't know that Yellow is a girl in the manga series, she's yet yeah, yeah, she's a girl. Her name is Yellow, but in and the when I was reading it, she actually has a Spanish. Her name is in Spanish, so she goes by Yellow in English, but her name of Yellow is in Spanish, and then her last name is also Spanish. So, overall, I like the series because they explain how she's Hispanic and it didn't explain that she's Hispanic, but the fact that they showed the fact that her name was in Spanish and the fact that she's, she rather prefer herself as yellow instead of the name that she was given as in to Spanish. It just, it, it, it got my attention overall. And I, I like the fact that they did that in the series. So, again, good good manga. Can't wait to get to Silver and Crystal and Gold. And then eventually getting to Diamond and Pearl, Platinum, Emerald, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I can't wait to get to all these mangas that I'm going to be eventually reading. And eventually pinning it up on this bookshelf so I can show you guys. Because, again... I can't wait to get all this manga and then just show you the full look of what this bookshelf looks like after it's all decked out in manga, plushies, everything I got on there is going to be looking pretty, pretty stacked. So if you guys enjoyed that, please, please, please put a thumbs up on there. You know, like, like, you know, scoff that like button. See you guys next time.